Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2011 Arkiva Channel of the Year Awards. Please give a warm festival welcome for your host this evening, Russell Kane. Hello, everyone. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm dying of flu, so this is going to be very interesting as I'm tripping off my tits on Beecham's. I've had so much, have you ever drunk so much Barocca you forget and then you have an orange wee and have a panic attack? That's just what happened to me. I thought my kidneys had failed. Uh, we are here tonight to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Archeo 2011 Channel of the Year Awards. Make some noise. Yeah. We've only got an hour, right? And those of you can only measure things in terms of TV, an hour is basically Dragon's Den plus 38 seconds, okay? On iPlayer. It's the time it takes Duncan Ballantyne to say, I'm out, which he says about everything. The better the idea, the more likely it is to go, I'm out. That's the rule. It's a great idea. It's full of talent. I'm out. <laughs> the only reason I'm watching it is to monitor the development of Hilary DeVay's shoulder pads, which I watch each week. <laughs> I like the idea. Is there any way you can make it feature gravel? <laughs> and, uh, is there any fucking gravel in the idea? I think she keep, her opinions are actually in her shoulder pad. <laughs> gravel. <laughs> the real reason is, uh, don't worry, that's the only attempt at humour. Uh, the real reason to keep it tight is we literally, uh, we literally just have an hour. So anyone who uh, wins an award, just keep your speeches short and sweet because the fine is £50 a minute for overrunning in this room. Yeah, it's more than my corporate fee. Uh, but first of all, let's give a big formal thanks to the sponsor, Arkiva. They are the technical people responsible for making the digital switch over a reality. A round of applause for our lovely sponsors, Arkiva. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So let's face it, we are here to unashamedly blow the sweet smoke of adulation up the well-cushioned backside of television's finest producers and executives. And I, for one, am taking a deep, groveling breath and puckering up because there's some seriously high-definition 3D widescreen talent in the room tonight. I think you all know I'm referring to the only way is Essex. Shut up. Tonight's uh, nominations include some of the hottest things we've seen on TV this year, with the possible exception of Tottenham's Aldi going up in flames on the news. Yeah, don't worry. I didn't write it, therefore I can read it without any guilt. And uh, <laughs> your rejection is merely a rubber stamp on what I would have done instead. <laughs> Thank you. That's called a postmodern aside. It's like a good out clause. Per that was mine, that bit there, obviously. And uh, personally, I love television. Yes, it's getting squeezed by new technology these days, but TV is a unifying medium. It brings people together. Take those riots, yeah? They were organised on mobile phones and Blackberries, but why? For one reason only, to loot tellies. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, nice big tellies to watch your award-winning television on. How about that? Yeah. But well, we're not going to smash things up. This year's Channel of the Year Awards have built on the success of 2010, and it's now bigger and better than ever. We've got three new awards this year, Producer or Director Debut, Indie of the Year, and Cross-Platform Innovation Award. If some of the older members of the audience are thinking cross-platform innovation award, hashtag, what does that mean? Just nod and look like you do know what it means, because there are going to be some redundancies in the hallways afterwards. <laughs> uh, keep up, yeah? We've got eight categories in all, plus three new ones, and the hardy perennials of terrestrial channel of the year, digital channel of the year, terrestrial program of the year, digital program of the year, and the network and fast track program choice award. Just keep nodding. I didn't even know what that fucking one was. W WTF, guys, random. Uh, first up, I'm dead on the inside. First up, the award for Digital Program of the Year. And here to present it, we have a comedy actress who is as gorgeous as she is talented. A combo that would make lesser men than me go off like a punched icing bag. That's disgusting, <laughs> but funny. Get ready to explode, I know I have in my skinnies, with love for Sarah Hadland! <laughs> to present the award for the Digital Programme of the Year, and the nominees are... Well, the idea was, you know, that I'd, I'd nip out and get a little snack, because Ricky and Steve said, yeah, try everything out, you know, do what the locals do, but there's no way I'm eating this stuff. I mean, at home, restaurants will get closed down for having a cockroach in the kitchen. Tonight, a rare and sumptuous treat. 
TV megastar Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie are reunited. It's 30 years since the boys first met, and they're keen to recount their shared history. There are a lot of times I want to go back and slap myself. Well, I would also like to slap me. <laughs> the Raven brought more news. The King rides for Winterfell. With the Queen and all the rest of them. He's coming this far north. There's only one thing he's after. Well, Jay! Uh, give way to the fucking left! Stupid old bin. I think it's the right, mate. Is it? Oh, right, yeah, that does sound familiar. What's that in your ear? Oh, it's a piercing. It's just a stud for now, but my dad's minding me a diamond to put in it. Cool. Hang on, have you had the left ear pierced? Yes. You know the one you get pierced to show you're gay? Fuck off! <laughs> And the winner is... The Inbetweeners! Thank you. A really quick thing, because I'm sorry the funny people aren't here. They've all gone to Sky, and I don't mean they're locked in Stuart Murphy's garage, they've actually gone to the Isle of Sky um, for the Inbetweeners Scottish premiere, so sorry they can't be here, but thank you so much. How brilliant. Okay, the next award is for Terrestrial Programme of the Year. And to host it, a man who, in the last year, has been muscling in on my Essex Boy sex symbol USP with a worrying amount of success, and I'm not happy. Please welcome to the stage the mirror image of Jermaine Greer that is The Only Way is Essex, Mark Wright! Hello. This is the uh, this award is for the Terrestrial Programme of the Year. And the nominees are... It's an old friend of mine, John Watson. Afghanistan or Iraq? Sorry? Which was it, Afghanistan or Iraq? Afghanistan, sorry, how did you... Ah, Molly, coffee, thank you. I'm sorry this happened to you. Suddenly, an elephant charges his cows. Mamadou fights back, but armed only with sticks, it's a battle of David and Goliath. Mamadou's courage has managed to shift over 50 elephants. All women have got needs, okay? We've all got sexual desire. Yeah, but she's like 50. Come on, just appreciate that your mum wants to have sex with Mr. Sandu. Wipe that thought of Mr. Sandu riding your mum out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> and the winner is Sherlock. Uh, thank you, we loved the Edinburgh Television Festival because we met there. Um, and uh, what the hell are you doing here? 10 past seven, BBC One, Doctor Who, let's kill Hitler. Much more fun than this, get your arses home. Thank you. <laughs> The next award is for cross-platform innovation. Yep, I've still got no idea what it means. And to take our minds off the fact, a man for whom the phrase, how the fuck did he do that, was invented. He's a magician whose tricks have left my mind more blown than Rowan Atkinson's tires. Please welcome to the stage the amazing 
Abraka motherfucking Dabra Dynamo! How you doing, you alright? Yeah. Cheers. So, um, cross platform innovation is the word I'm here to present. So, let's take a look at the video, innit? Run the tip. People all over the world were watching online to find out if David could be funny for 24 hours straight. It was the most talked about thing on Twitter, trending globally from Peru to Australia, with over 20,000 tweets in 24 hours. Did he do it? Did he stay awake? This is Comic Relief's 24-hour panel, People. I'm a scat man. Answer our weekly polls to let us know who you think is on point, who smashed it, and who made you yawn. At the start of every show, viewers are prompted to visit the play along game on the official website. If you think you're better than the players in the studio, then prove it. Viewers are given a virtual £1 million and face the same questions as the TV contestants. When the contestants are asked to place their money, players at home do the same, experiencing every nail-biting moment of the show simultaneously. This data is fed back into the show, allowing the host to compare how different people from around the UK are doing compared to the TV contestants. 476 people are still in play with their initial £1 million. B4 unleashed misfits on the world. A huge online campaign exploded the story across multiple platforms. For Series 2, we upped our game and expanded the Misfits universe further and in more awesome ways. It all started weeks before transmission with the launch of The Wall, a mysterious looking app that would bring together the on-screen and online worlds. In the TV drama Super Hoodie, a character born online during Series 1, and who had now become a pivotal character, tracked the Asbo 5's movements via the technical wizardry of the wall. And the winner is... Million Pound Drop, play a long game. Nice uh, massive thanks to this man, David Flynn, Remarkable Films, and uh, Endable Digital, Monta Rosa, who um, built and also run the game, and to Justin Sider and Mark Sheldon at Channel 4. Nothing to say, perfect. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks everyone who voted for it. It's, um, it's been lovely to see people mentioning it this weekend and that we've inspired a few other people coming down the line, so thanks so much. I think we broke the law, we say we're Uh, next up, one of our new awards, the Indie of the Year Award. It's a celebration of those TV production houses that produce some of the best programmes around. To introduce the nominees, please welcome another The Only Way is Essex star. She's one of the brightest stars of reality TV, and that's just the cubic zirconias superglued to her fanny. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's not as good if I laugh halfway through. I don't know about you, but I'm about to crack open a bottle of Semion. Go wild! For Sam Fears! Hi everyone, so I'm here to present the Indie of the Year Award and uh, let's take a look at the nominations. Nobody loves me. Don't be silly, Colin. We love you. Yep, yeah, you're not going to shag me though, are you?
They're going to kill the president. Find this man. DS Brooks, DS Devon. Yep, it is good to be back. And how long have you been into women? I didn't say I was. Yeah, and after you. Who's up for a daredevil rescue fraught with inconceivable danger? Welcome to the hour. The most important 60 minutes of news of your week. Do wonderful food. Do us proud. Britain's finest unit for forensic investigation. What the hell are you doing here? Well, I wouldn't give up, and I feel brilliant. Chicken. Stella, you're high. Standing here, what am I going to see? Spider-Man! Last week, I actually had to go into a shop and buy four candles. <laughs> The Daily Star's got a little crown on, which Aww. is adorable. Have you ever seen a dog confronted by a credit card? It just looks like a four-legged idiot. Claudia Winkleman, like, woo, 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 woo. Or do you want to be like uh, Davina McCall? Like, ah, 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 ah. What's really interesting about this advert is that it graphically simulates how it might look if JLS held a wanking contest. If FIFA are desperate to take the tournament to places where people don't play football, just hold it in Scotland. <laughs> And the winner is Talkback Thames. I'd just like to thank all of the creative teams in, our, in Talkback Thames and also to all the broadcasters we work with. Thanks very much. Thank you. Time for another of our new awards now. It's the producer slash director debut. So who better to help solve it than an actress behind one of the truly great TV detectives, Sarah Lund, from the Danish hit The Killing. So terrifying, I used up my whole month's supply of Imodium when I watched it. She's the woman who's taken knitwear into fitwear. Mm, please show your love for Sophie Grubble! <laughs> Good evening. So it's my first time in Edinburgh, and uh, I've been told to say one thing. Och, I the new. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> so the nominees for the Producer Director Debut Award are. Sister Mary Bernadette gave me a part in the play. Did she? And the king. One of the three kings? Oh, that's wonderful. No, I'm the fourth king. Oh. oh, I don't think there was a fourth king, darling. Sister Mary Bernadette said there was. The king of Flam Rock. Oh, yeah. Pretty bad. Tonight on Dispatches, we follow the police and citizens of Islamabad for a year to witness how the once quiet capital is becoming a city of fear. The only thing I'd say to you is what we don't want is the BMP here. So even if you get cross with us... Whatever government is in, somebody's got to be brave enough for... We, we are actually an island and there's only so many people I think we can retain anyway. In the article, Rich talked of his willingness to fight and die for his beliefs. 
his hatred of the West and his desire to see Sharia law in Britain. So has Richard been brainwashed? Why has he turned his back on the world he grew up in? And will I ever reconnect with my extremist stepbrother? She accepted the fact that he was poorly. She helped him in any way that he needed help in, whether it be, I'll clean you, I'll, I'll do this, I'll do that. Nothing was out of the question. She was stalwart, very strong. And for such a young girl, exceptional for that age. And she became a tower of strength for him. And I've been looking so much forward to saying this in English, and the winner is... Rob Leach for My Brother the Islamist. Um, can I say wow? Um, I came up here all on my own today. Um, I have no idea who any of you are, um, <laughs> but thank you. Um, and also, I'd like, in all seriousness, I'd like to thank um, Grace Productions and also BBC Three Fresh for giving me the opportunity to make my first film. So. Uh, the next award is the Network and Fast Track Award, which sounds like two steps in some sort of obscure scheme devised by the Eurocrats, something our next presenter's alter ego will be less than happy about, being as he is Europhobe, pub landlord, Mr Al Murray! Hi. Hello. I'm... Thank you, <laughs> Russell. I'm here to present the uh, Network and Fast Track Program Choice Award, which is voted for by the people on the Network and Fast Track Program scheme. <laughs> Who won the frozen chicken? Who was it? Yeah. What did you do with it? Did you put it in a bin? Oh, it's a quality item. And the nominees are. Since when did you tell me what I can and can't do? Since I care about whether you die or not. You've forgotten about that. Okay, guys, come on, seriously. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're lazy and incompetent. We're practically handicapped, okay? Leave it to the police. They get paid to get shot. <laughs> Never thought I'd say this, but he's talking sense. Thank you. And hey, I'm already doing my bit to fight crime. Bosh. <sighs> What are you doing? Nicotine patch. Helps me think. Impossible to sustain a smoking habit in London these days. Bad news for brain work. It's good news for breathing. Ugh, breathing. Breathing's boring. <laughs> oh my god, he's bringing me champagne! Oh my god. <laughs> So, Nick, you alright? Yeah. Yeah. Sitting here on your own. I know. Your own Don't let him see you cry. Can I swap sides? Don't let him see you cry. Are we going in? Um, there's another gate round the back. My brother's there. It's one of the demonstrators. Where? Which one? When do I get to meet this famously sexy brother? <laughs> Never. You're pretty good clear over that all things are not going as they should, but. Our story starts with the beginning of the universe. It began 13.7 billion years ago. And today, it's filled with over 100 billion galaxies, each containing hundreds of billions of stars. Right. Wow. He's wrong, of course, it was God. Right. <laughs> Nonsense. Um, <laughs> I'm going to open the envelope now. Misfits! Wow, 
thank you very much. Uh, very unexpected. Uh, I'd like to thank Clark and Wealth Films and the brilliant cast and crew for making such a great show. Thanks. It's time now for our penultimate award, the Digital Channel of the Year. And here with the nominees, a comic who I'd wager knows his way around some of the more fruity digital channels found in the filthy recesses of his skybox. He's famous for not going out, but he's here tonight. Please welcome the one, the only Lee Man! <laughs> Uh, I, listen, I'm genuinely very excited because I've uh, just met Sophie Grobble back there for the first time and I would like to start by saying it is brilliant that a show can be uh, well written, uh, exciting, dramatic and to, do, to provide all those uh, from, a, from a relatively small country like Denmark I think is a brilliant achievement but I know I speak on behalf of the rest of the conference when I say 200 quid for a woolly jumper, fuck that. <laughs> so, now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to announce the... Uh, and whilst we're here, if YouTube people are here, 15 years of flouting the uh, copyright laws, free orange juice isn't going to fucking cut the mustard. <laughs> right. The oh, the nominees. All right, OK. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the nominees for the Digital Channel of the Year Award. We're missing cash in the attic. About to have sex. This has got to be the second gayest thing I've seen in the last ten days. I want to break free. I'll be taking part in some of the most iconic shows from television and radio. Got to go with Sean. Me not after yeah, putting on them clothes this morning. We've got clothes going in to help save them up. She looks different, but in there is a real regular teenager. If he dies because of you three, I'm going to hate you forever. <laughs> This is what it is. Do it, God Almighty. Are you single and looking for love? Huh. I'm married and looking for cake. Another day at the office. Do you have any idea what happened to your seventh head? I lost it in the divorce. This has to work, Tonya. Not just for you, for all of us. I'm helpless. I've seen Nuts magazine today with you in it. No, you did. Your boobs out. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is all basically your fault, you know. One day, you and me will have everything that everyone else has. Men that are capable of raping a three-year-old child. Let's have a wrestle, eat a worm. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's never ending. Were you arrested because you look a bit like a photo fit? Welcome to the 2011 South Bank Sky Arts Award. But I don't remember there being a time without music. Photography to me is like a, an addiction. God bless America. Please welcome Chris Addison, Jack Whitehall, Miss Sarah Milliken. The other day I got my Latin American manager a car. I got my boss on over. We're off. <laughs> Test to the left of me, chicken to the right. Let's see who's going to win. Chicken tonight. And now I'm going to do a little bit about charity. <laughs> Bazinga! Let's party! Fucking yeah! Get in for it. You know what, I can piss off and pick up some litter. I'm already living in Camel. Oh. Last winter was Camel ever. I did literally Camel, Camel, Camel. I ended up with humps. You are just a tool. You're a dick. You're a dick. You were great. And the winner of the Digital Channel of the Year is BBC Three.
Uh, thanks very much for this. Um, I've only actually been in post for five months, so it's all down to me. Um, so, uh, really, obviously, this is for Danny, this is for Harry, and all the uh, amazing commissioners who I've now got the um, uh, brilliant opportunity of working with, although they're not going to actually get it off my desk. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Time. <clears throat> Sadly, uh, we come to our final prize, ladies and gentlemen. It's Terrestrial Channel of the Year. But happily to host it, we have a woman who has become a member of that rare club of public figures known immediately by just their first name. There's Madonna, there's Sting, there's Stalin, and of course, there's Miranda. It's Lee Max Cleaner, Miranda Hart, everyone! <laughs> Lovely, thank you. Um, hello all employers and future employers. <laughs> you, look, you look lovely. Good, got that done. Um, lovely. It's, uh, it's very sweet you trying to have an attempt at your own little BAFTAs in a crummy conference suite. And <laughs> oh, it's not the Grosvenor, is it? Right. So, uh, no, it's cute, it's lovely. Um, I'm presenting the Terrestrial Channel of the Year Award. The nominees are... Human beings. I thought I'd never get done saving you. Yeah, yeah. I want my school to be excellent. Innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. Innocent until proven guilty. about helping people like you. BBC found staff out of control. Let it go away. Yeah. That's nonsense. She can't act, can she? Yeah. My name is Michael K. Neither of us is a normal. I'm a star and I bought my fucking car style. I live a very, very, very wild lifestyle. And Audrina, eat your heart. I do hope you'll come and inspect my little cottage. Soon I'll be the king like Prince Charles Child. Yeah. You safely say they're a very dangerous individual. We did find your sister. <gasps> 20 light bulbs around my table and my dresser. CLC compressor just got a great charisma. Queen of the jungle. No two uncle vest, I got them gazing at my necklace and my crazy sun protectors. G shots, I got a king on the go. And hey, as I can't fucking hear, give me a second. Yeah, a third world class server. Everyone should walk through an emergency room. Let's have a toast to sell. It was really shocking. And we can, you can really make a difference to what's happening out there. You will not make 50. You ain't growing up, you're growing sideways. You can still save some life. Hello, everyone. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, we bring the stars out. I'll see what I can do. Then the cars and the fucking hell. Let's have a toast to sell He's a bit odd. Cowboy builder and spineless. Do this until we pass out. it if the tankers were going to stop delivering, the country would shut down, wouldn't it? Nah, <laughs> fuck And the winner is ITV1. Baby, you're on your way. Come on, show them why you work. Make them go uh, 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 as you should. I mean, that is the nicest surprise of the weekend. Thank you so much. And um, I know, you know, Peter Finchin would be absolutely thrilled. So this is for him and for the brilliant commissioning team, all the producers we work with. Thank you so much. Fantastic. And for our very brilliant scheduler, David Berg. Thank you very much. Thank you. Alas, that's it for the Arkiva Channel of the Year Awards 2011. Thanks very much to everyone involved, our sponsor, Arkiva, our guests, our presenters, our nominees, and of course, our proud and thrusting winners. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Pace yourselves, because it's the final weekend. Don't make the mistake of drinking until 7 a.m. before passing out and waking up next to a ladyboy of Bangkok, having signed a major primetime deal with Puppetry of the Penis 3D. <laughs> I still say it would have worked as a non-broadcast pilot. It's just my argument. <laughs> Get out there and make John Logie Baird proud. I've been the third Russell of comedy. Good night.